Hi, are you taking a course in ordinary differential equations or do you find differential equation very difficult and you want to understand it very well? Then this video gets you covered. Today, we will have an introduction to differential equation. Before the video will end, I will tell you what differential equations are and how differential equations are classified. This will be a very interesting engagement. My name is Tete J. Kepsi Richard. So I want to talk of differential equations. Differential equations are equations that involves one or more derivative or differential of unknown function. So if you have an equation that involves a derivative or a differential of unknown function, then that equation is called a differential equation. For instance, we have a function like y equals to 4x squared plus 5x squared plus 3x plus 6. And we find dy over ds. So our dy over ds will be equal to 12x squared plus 10x plus 3. This equation now will be called a differential equation. So I hope you get a concept of a differential equation. As far as the equation involves a derivative, or a differential of unknown function, then the equation is called a differential equation. I'll give you some more examples of differential equations. So now let's look at the following equations on the board. So we have d, d squared y over ds squared equal to 4s squared d y over ds plus 5s. Now do we know the function whose differential equation is this? No, we don't know. We don't know that function. As far as this equation contains the derivative, look at it, second derivative and first derivative of a function which we did not know, that unknown function, a function which we did not know, then the equation is called a differential equation. Look at this one. This is called del z over del s. You, look, you see that this is different from this. I will introduce you very soon to it. Del z over del s equal to 8xy. As far as it contains a derivative, or a differential then we, of a function which we do not know, then the equation is a differential equation. And the same we have dy over ds equal to c squared d squared y over ds squared plus 5xy equal to 0. As far as it contains a derivative or a differential of a function which we do not know, then that equation is a differential equation. I hope you get the concept of a differential equation. Okay, so I want to introduce you to something before we come to the classification. So here we have y equal to 5s cube plus 6s squared plus 4s. The dependent variable here is y and the independent variable is x. y depends on x. So we say y is the dependent variable and s is the independent variable. So we will find dy over dx okay this will be 15x square plus 12s plus 4 since there is only one and only and only one independent variable and the differentiation is done with respect to that independent variable then we say that this is ordinary differential i hope you get that the differentiation is done with respect to just one independent variable, one single independent variable. Then we say it's an ordinary differential. Now let's look at this one. In this case, the independent variable are x and y. And the dependent variable is u. So there is two independent variables in this case. And one dependent variable. And then that dependent variable is u. So if I'm asked to differentiate this with respect to one independent variable, that's with respect to x, the other independent variable will be held constant. So we call that, how to differentiate, we call it, if we want to do that differentiation, we say del u over del s. Maybe the differentiation is done with respect to x, that independent variable x. So the other independent variable, which is y, will be held constant. So on differentiate this, the differentiation will be done with respect to s. On differentiate that, we'll get 10x then y. y is, is a constant, just like 5, 6, 7, just a constant. Now when we come here, look at it. There is no 
x there, which we are differentiating with respect to. So the whole of this is constant. So when we differentiate this, is 0. Now when we differentiate this with respect to x, so the 8 and the y are constant. So we just differentiate. We know the differentiation of a, of a linear term is a coefficient of the constant. And the coefficient there will be 8, y. So now this differentiation, we say it is a partial differentiation. And this is an ordinary differentiation. So I hope you, you understand the difference between an ordinary differentiation and partial differentiation. This set it to, to the next thing which we are going to do is how to classify differential equations. So please come with me. Now the next thing we'll talk about is how to classify differential equations. Now how are differential equations classified? Differential equations are classified by one. The type. Two. By the order. Three. By degree. Then four. By linearity. So this is how differential equations are classified. So we look at the types of differential equation that we have. The order that a differential equation will have. The degree of a differential equation. Then we'll be able to know whether a differential equation is linear or non-linear. That's what we refer to as the linearity. Now we take them one by one. First we talk about the types. So remember I said that in when there is a single independent variable. And a differentiation is done with that single independent variable. We call that differential an ordinary differential or ordinary derivative. Now, when there are two or more independent variables, and a differentiation is done with respect to just one single independent variable, then that differentiation is known as a partial differentiation. I introduce you to that. So on that note, we have two types of differential equations. The first one is ordinary differential equation then the second one is called partial differential equations now when we say ordinary differential equation, what is an ordinary differential equation? And when we say partial differential equation, what is a partial differential equation? So we say that the types of differential equations that we have are ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. Now when we say ordinary differential equations, they are equations that contain an ordinary derivative of a known function of just one single independent variable. So we say that when a differentiation is done with respect to a single variable. Thus, we have uh, one single independent variable, and the differentiation is done with respect to that single independent variable. Then we call that differentiation ordinary differentiation. Ordinary uh, differentiation. Now, when we have such differential equations, then that differential equation is an ordinary differential equation. So, for instance, look at this differential equation: dy over dx all squared plus 4s. D square y over d s square equal to 5s. Now, what is the dependent variable here? The dependent variable is y. And what is the independent variable? We have only one single independent variable. Then that single independent variable is x. You can see that. So as far as one, that single independent variable is x, and the differentiation is done with respect to that single independent variable, then we call that differential equation an ordinary differential equation. I hope you get that. Now, let's look at the partial one. We say partial differential equations are equations that contain a partial derivative of a known function of two or more independent variables. So if we have, if a function contains two or more independent variables and a differentiation is done with respect to one single independent variable, then we call that differentiation partial differentiation. Now the resultant equation from that partial differentiation is a partial differential equation. So for instance, let's look at this equation. The dependent variable here is u, and the independent variables are x and y. And look at that. The differentiation is done with respect to the single independent variable here, x. Uh, the, uh, the independent, one of the independent variables here, x. And the 
Either in the parent variable Y, differentiation is done with respect to them. As far as we have two or more independent variables and differentiation is done with respect to any of them, then we call such a differential equation, a partial differential equation. In this course, our attention will be based on the ordinary differential equation, in the sense that we have another course that involves partial differential equation. So in this video, we will only talk about ordinary differential equations. So watch the video till the end. Now, since we know that we have two types of differential equations, ordinary and partial, and our attention will be based on ordinary differential equations, then let's talk about the classification according to the order of an ordinary differential equation. Now, we say the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest order derivative in the equation. So when a differential equation is given to you, check the highest order derivative. The order of that highest order derivative becomes the order of the differential equation. Very simple. Now let's look at this differential equation. This, differ this derivative is of order 3. And this is of order 1. Please, this is exponential. So the order is order 1. And this one is of order 2. Now, the highest order here is 3. Then we can boldly say that this differential equation is of order 3. I, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Now, let's look at this one. Now, what's the order of this derivative? The order, the order is 1. The order of this one too is 1. Then we can say that the, order, the highest order is 1. So, the order of the differential equation is of order 1. Or is 1. Now, let's look at the third one. So, you know, this is differentiated once. So, the order is 1. This is differentiated two times. The order is two. The highest order here is two. This is two. This is one. So the order of this differential equation is two. So we said this differential equation is of order two. I hope, I hope you get a concept of the order. So we can say that this is a, a third order ordinary differential equation. Why? See, we have only one and we have one and only one independent variable. And the differentiation is done with respect to that independent variable. So it's an ordinary differential equation. So we can say that this is a, a third order ordinary differential equation. Then this is a first order ordinary differential equation. And this is a second order ordinary differential equation. I hope you get a concept of the order. The next classification is classification according to degree. So our next classification is classification according to degree. So we say the degree of a differential equation is the degree of the highest order derivative in the equation. So anytime a differential equation is given to us, and we're able to we are able to determine the highest order derivative. We just found out the degree of that highest order derivative. Then that degree, the degree of the highest order derivative becomes the degree of the differential equation. So now let's see. So now we have this differential equation here. The order is 1. Remember that. The order of this differential equation is 2. So as I was saying, the, the order here, this, differential, this equation, uh, derivative is of order 1. And this one is of order 2. The highest order here is 2. Now you find out the degree of the highest order. The degree of the highest order is 2. Then the degree of this differential equation is 2. So we say this differential equation is of degree 2. Please, not 3. Not 3 in the sense that the, the derivative here is not the highest order. The highest order is 2. Is this. So the, the degree of that highest order becomes the degree of the differential equation. Now so let's look at this one too. What, this differentiation is second order. Then this derivative is first order, and this is third order. Now the highest order here is 3, not 2, not 1, is 3. Now what is the degree of this highest, what is the degree of the highest order? The degree here is 1. Then that becomes the degree of the differential equation. So we said that this differential equation is of degree 1. So the degree is 1. Please, not 3, not 5. Be, 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 uh, be very careful with it. Just find out the highest ordered 
derivative. Finance is a degree of the highest order. The degree of the highest order becomes the degree of the differential equation. Now let's look at this one. This one, before we do it, you need to remove the square root. So we can say, you can square both sides of the equation. On square, the square root will go away. We we'll have dy over dx plus 5 equal to d square y over dx square all square. Now, when we are done with that, we can say that this differential, this derivative is of order 1. And this is of order 2. So the highest order is 2. What is the degree of the highest order? The degree is 2. Then we say that this differential equation, I mean, this differential equation is of degree 2. Please, be very careful with this. Remove the square root first before you'll be able to determine the degree. The degree is not 1. Since it is written with the square root, the degree is not 1. We need to remove the square root. Then we'll be able to determine the degree. So the degree is 2. Now we know that all, the, all these differential equations are ordinary differential equations. So we want to classify these differential equations according to degree, order, then by type. So we can say that this is, so this differential equation, the order is 2 because the highest order here is 2. So we can say that this is a, a second order ordinary differential equation with degree 2. I, I hope you get that. A second order ordinary differential equation with degree 2. Now let's look at this one. This, the highest order is 3. So we can say that a third order ordinary differential equation with degree 1. Then the last one, we can say the, the highest order here is 2. So we, we say that a second order ordinary differential equation with degree 2. I, I, hope, I hope you get the classification according to degree. Now the next classification we'll be doing is classification according to linearity. So now the next classification we are going to do is classification according to linearity. So we say a differential equation is said to be linear if 1, the dependent variable and or its derivative is or are of degree 1. Now when a, a differential equation is given to you, find out the dependent variable and its derivative, whether the degree of all the derivative and the dependent variable are 1. If the degree or, or the degree of the independent uh, the dependent variable and its derivative are 1, then that differential equation may be classified as linear. But that is not an enough reason. Now let's see if we have, see, if let's say y is the dependent variable and we don't have y square, y cube, it is like that. Or we don't have the derivative to be square like this or d square y over d a square or square as as far as let's say three as far as this does not exist then that differential equation may be called linear however it is not an enough reason because there is another reason again now let's look at the second reason no product of the independent variable please there is a no product of the independent variable and its derivative exists so the independent variable and the, the uh, and the derivative must not have any product. For instance, we shouldn't have y dy over ds. If y is a dependent variable, we shouldn't have anything like that. Or we shouldn't have y d square y over ds square. As far as we don't have anything like that, then that differential equation may be considered as linear. However, that again is not an enough reason to call it linear because there is another reason again. What is that reason? No transcendental function, please say repetition, no transcendental function of the dependent variable, of the dependent variable, okay, so variable is missing. No transcendental function of a dependent variable and or its derivative exists. So there should never be any transcendental function of a dependent variable and or its derivative. Now, when we talk of transcendental functions, what are transcendental functions? There are three main functions we call transcendental functions. And these are, these are uh, trigonometric functions, trigonometric functions. 
logarithmic functions. Logarithmic function. And so we have trigonometry function, logarithmic function, and exponential functions. Exponential function. Please, I know you know this by now. These three functions are called transcendental functions. As far as the dependent variable, AE derivative, does not involve any transcendental function, then we say that that differential equation may be considered as linear. Now, what are we talking about? We shouldn't have anything like, if y is a dependent variable, we shouldn't have anything like lin y, or e exponent y, or sin y, or cos y, tan y, we shouldn't have anything like that. Now, we shouldn't also have anything like uh, lin dy over ds. No. We shouldn't have anything like e exponent dy over ds. Or maybe cos dy over ds. As far as this does not exist, then the differential equation may be considered as linear. Now, I might say that a differential equation must satisfy these cri three criteria before it can be considered as linear. If it satisfies two and one is missing, then it will be considered as uh, non-linear. Please take notice of it. Now we take some differential equations and see whether they are linear or non-linear. So remember we said that before a differential equation will be linear, then it must satisfy three conditions. The first one is that the dependent variable and its derivative must be of degree one. Two, no product must exist between the dependent variable and its derivatives. Then the third one, no transcendental function of the dependent variable and all its derivative should work. Okay. As far as any differential equation satisfy these three conditions, then we can call them linear. Now let's see what happens. So when you take the differential equation, find out the dependent variable and the independent variable in the equation. Then you find out whether it satisfies those three conditions. As far as it satisfies the three conditions, then we can call it linear. Now, what is the dependent variable here? The dependent variable here is y, and the independent variable is x. Now, let's check whether the dependent variable and the derivative are of degree 1. There is a derivative here, the degree is 1. There is a dependent variable here, the degree is 1. Then, it satisfies that condition. So, we say condition, satisfied. Now, let's see. Is there any... Is there any product between the dependent variable and the derivative? There is a, 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 a what? There is a derivative here. It's not multiplying anything. There is a dependent variable here, but it's not being multiplied by any de uh, derivative. So another condition satisfied. Now third condition. Is there any transcendental function of the dependent variable and or its derivative? Look at it. There is a there is no transcendental function. There is no logarithmic. There is no uh, trigonometry function, neither is there any exponential function in this equation. So we say this differential equation is linear. Now let's look at the second one. What is the dependent variable here? The dependent variable here is x. Please take note. The dependent variable is x and the independent variable is y. Please be very careful. Now let's check whether the dependent variable and its derivatives are of degree 1. There is a dependent variable here, x. The degree is 1. There is a derivative here. The degree is 1. There is another dependent variable here. The degree is 1. There is another dependent variable here. The degree is 1. Condition satisfied. Second condition. No product should exist between a dependent variable and its derivative. Look at this. There is a product between a dependent variable and a derivative. That alone disqualifies this, uh, this differential equation from being linear. So we say this is non-linear. Non-linear. Now let's look at the third one. We say first, the dependent variable and its derivative must be of degree 1. So what is the dependent variable here? The dependent variable here is y. The, there is a dependent variable here. The degree is 1. There is a derivative here. The degree is not 1. The degree is 3. That alone disqualified this differential equation from being linear. So we say it's non-linear. It's non-linear. I, I, I hope you get a concept. Now let's look at the fourth one. You can pause the video 
and see if you can determine whether it is linear or non-linear. Now compare your answers with mine. So now first, let's determine the dependent variable. The dependent variable is y, and the independent variable is x. Now let's find out whether the dependent variable and its derivatives are of degree 1. So now there is a derivative here, the degree is 1. Another derivative here, the degree is 1. So that condition satisfied. There is no any dependent variable here. Now let's find out whether there is a product between the dependent variable and its e derivative. Now there is no product between the dependent variable and its e derivative here. There is another product here, but look at it. The variable here is an independent variable, non dependent. There is, so that condition also satisfied. Here there is no product. Third condition. No transcendental function of the dependent variable and its e derivative should exist. So there is a transcendental function here. But what is the variable involved? The variable involved is an independent variable, not dependent. That condition to satisfy. So we said that this differential equation is linear. Now let's look at the third one. So first we check whether the dependent variable and its e derivatives are of degree 1. So the derivatives here... The derivative here is of degree 1. Another derivative here, the degree is 1. Then there is no any other derivative. Then the dependent, is there any dependent variable? Yes, the dependent variable is here. The degree is 1. That condition satisfied. Second condition. Is there any product between the dependent variable and its e derivatives? Look at it. There is no starting. There is a product here of a variable and the derivative. But the variable involved is an independent variable, not dependent. So that condition satisfied. Third condition. Is there any transcendental function of the dependent variable or its e derivatives? Yeah, look at this. We have a transcendental function here. What is the variable involved? The variable involved is a dependent variable. Then that disqualified this differential equation from being linear. So we say it's non-linear. I, I, I hope you get a concept of... Uh, Linearity. As far as one condition disqualifies the differential equation from being linear, then it is non-linear. Then it is non-linear. So, we have learned how to classify differential equation by type. And we said that our attention will be based on ordinary differential equation. We we'll also classify by order, by degree, then by linearity. Please, now we will learn how to combine all to name a differential equation. Please, before we do that, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post most of this, you'll be the first to receive it. Now, let's see. So now we're able to determine that this differential equation is linear. Now, how do we name it? Look at it. The order is, this differential equation is of order 1. So the highest order here is 1. What's the degree of the, the degree of the highest order is also 1. So we say that this differential equation is a linear first order ordinary differential equation with degree 1. So we say this is a linear first order ordinary differential equation So a linear first order ordinary differential equation with with degree one with degree one. I, 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 I hope you get that. Now let's look at the second one. So the degree, the order here is order, the highest order is one, so it's of order one. The degree of that highest order is one. So we say this and it is non-linear and it's an ordinary differential equation because we have only one independent variable and the differentiation is done with respect to that independent variable. So we say this is a non-linear first order ordinary differential equation with degree 1. I hope you get that. A non-linear first order ordinary differential equation with degree 1. Now let's look at this one. The, the degree, the highest order here is 1. And if that degree of the highest order is 3. And it is a non-linear and ordinary. So we say that this is a non-linear first order ordinary differential equation with degree 3. I hope you get that. Now let's look at the fourth one. Please pause the video and try to name it and see if you will be correct. Now compare that. So let's look at it. 
What's the highest order? The highest order is 2. The degree of the highest order is 1. So we said that this differential equation is of order 2 and the degree is 1. So we we'll name it that. And it's linear. So it's a linear second order ordinary differential equation with degree 1. Uh, I hope you get that. Then the last one. The highest order here is 2. The degree of the highest order is 1. And it's non-linear and ordinary. So we said that. We said this is a non-linear second order ordinary differential equation with degree 1. I hope you get that. I hope you get it. We'll end it here today. Please, before you sign out, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until we meet again, bye-bye.